Tipsy Rose Blanchard is a liar and a manipulator. And of course she's intimidated by the Menendez brothers getting out, which is why she doesn't want to know anything about them. The Menendez brothers were abused, both actually and physically. Versus Gypsy, she was seeing two men at the time and doing extracurricular activities with others, allegedly. And she just wanted her mom to be unallowed for sausage. Let me show you exactly what I'm speaking about. And to watch the rest of this, check out Becca Scoops on YT. So basically, her mother imprisoned her, and Gypsy said it best, it was a kill or be killed situation of the imprisonment she faced. Well, it's been documented that Dee Dee Blanchard posed no real threat to Gypsy Rose. In fact, it's well documented that Dee Dee was quite ill at the time of her demise. Dee Dee Blanchard never made Gypsy Rose ill and was never diagnosed with Munchausen by proxy. Dee Dee was a con woman, pulling a medical con. In fact, Gypsy revealed there was no kill or be killed situation. Gypsy explained she did not want to wait for her mom to die to get away from her. I'm like, well, I can just wait till she passes away naturally. But I didn't know how long that was going to be. And she could have lived to be 70 years old. And by that time, I would be too old to do the things that I would want, like have children and have a life of my own. At the time of Gypsy Rose's mother's unaliving, she was actually very sick. In fact, it said that Gypsy was actually taking care of her mom and she didn't want to do that anymore. And she was tired of them doing the schemes because she couldn't move on with her life. And they actually were getting ready to get in trouble for the cons that they were doing. And Gypsy decided she was just going to end it. And that's why her mom is not here today. She met a man on a Christian dating site and manipulated him for over two and a half years. He lived out of state. Like I said, he has autism a low IQ, and he was collecting disability at the time. Permanent disability. So this wasn't even a temporary situation. She manipulated him over and over again. There's plenty of videos out there showing how she manipulated him. Like I said, check out Becca on YT. She told him that she was being abused, she was being harmed, and he thought he was protecting her. So he was thought he was doing what was admirable. But that was not the case. And she ended up getting 10 years, and he has life without the possibility of parole. And even though Gypsy Rose Blanchard wasn't in danger, she still calls her mom the perpetrator. Let's watch that. They're often portrayed either as the victim of Munchausen or the murderer. Right. And what do you want people to know about you? Quite honestly, I'm starting to feel like they want a perfect victim and there is no such thing as a perfect victim. In their mind, the perfect victim would have died. And so now that I survived and the perpetrator of the abuse is the one that died, then I'm getting the hate. For a woman to get on national TV and say that because the perpetrator is unalive, she's the one getting hate, as in they would have preferred her be the one that that would have happened to. You heard Gypsy say straight out, she didn't know how long it was gonna take for her mom to be unalive or to pass away. So she just had it done herself. Now also, she says she's an advocate and a victim of abuse, correct? If that is the case, why is it that she's not advocating for that? And the only time you see her do an appearance is unless she's making money. Someone asked Gypsy Rose Blanchard if she actually missed her mom and she responded. And I need you guys to see this because it's mind blowing. Wait, what? We got two minutes left. Is it time? No, I'm just saying, let's just do two more minutes. Oh, okay, two more minutes. Okay. And then we'll go eat or something. <laughs> What's your favorite date night? Um, just getting out of the house. We'll go to the French Quarter. We'll go to, you know, downtown New Orleans. Find a great restaurant to eat at. Go walk around. You know, the uh, the Swamp Tour was fun. Oh, yeah. The Vampire Tour was fun. Just being around each other. It doesn't matter. There's a lot of cool doing. stuff in New Orleans to do. Yeah, I do miss my mom sometimes. <laughs> when you're having kids. <laughs> it's in God's timing. Is he Kenneth? Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. He is Kenneth. <laughs> Gypsy Rose Blanchard was only in prison for eight years out of the ten, and she's on parole for the rest. So she literally got away with unaliving someone. Now, she reached out to me months ago, I think it was in March, and 
I told her she needed to take accountability. After I told her that, she made this video. And what I think is interesting is that she was in there for eight years. The only thing she actually was able to do was get a GED. And it took her five out of the eight years to do that. And she said that the parole board was proud of her. I want you guys to watch that. So to anyone watching, I wanted to make a video um, talking about accountability and what that means to me. Um, so when I seen the parole board in December of 2021, I went before a panel of like three people and they asked me how I was doing in prison. I can't be the only one that your lips is getting uh, dry programs watching this. Was I entered into like like participating in as far as like institutional classes and stuff like that. And uh, they seen that I got my GD and I worked for like five years to get my GD, finally got it. The math was what I struggled with the most, but they were really like, they yeah, because really nothing's adding up. Um, they asked me what was my feelings about my co-defendant and how did I feel that he is doing life without parole and in comparison to my sentence. And I was honest with them. I've always felt that I feel like more than one life was taken that night because of me, because of what I chose to do. Um, you know, they made, they made it very clear that, um, they felt like I needed to participate in a mental health program. So, um, when they decided that they were going to release me at my mandatory minimum, which was eight and a half years, they put two stipulations on me, um, mandatory therapy. Um, which is going great so far, by the way. I see a therapist once a week. Um, and no contact with my co-defendant. I want you guys to notice that after she spoke to me, she took accountability. But then she gets on the news and says, my mom is this, my mom is that. But in that, she actually took accountability. But she doesn't feel any of that. That was just to make the public happy. Maybe she thought that was going to get me to stop speaking about her. But... I also think it's ironic that the stipulations was therapy and to not communicate with her co-defendant. But yet she has had her friends reach out to the co-defendant. And I'm going to be honest with you. I think the reason why Nicholas Godejan's family is not fighting for him to get any justice is because he is still emotionally involved or cares about Gypsy and I think that's the problem and the biggest issue that I think is that if nobody does anything this is another person that won't make an example for the justice system and change laws for people with disabilities and we need to change things people with disabilities should not be railroaded by the justice system and it's crazy when you think about it because when you watch Nicholas Godejan's interrogation and Gypsy's interrogation, it's vastly different. And you can tell Nicholas Godejan did not know what was going on. He really needed to have a guardian there or some type of representation. It's really a sad situation, but I really think his family knows that he still cares about Gypsy and that may be the reason. Um, that they themselves aren't really fighting. Um, that's the only thing I can really think of because anything else doesn't make sense. And I believe Gypsy is still communicating with him through other people, like I said before, because he's had, she's had Bree and other people reach out to him. And I just think that that just says a whole lot. What do you guys think? Drop your thoughts down below.